bang. Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we have some new knives, some old knives, and you know, some knives that are on sale. We're just gonna have a little bit of a mixture video. This is Kubi's new model. I forget the name of it, but I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. But this is their first crossbar lock. So they've never done a crossbar lock before, so this is their first attempt. Now, I will be honest, it does have a deal breaker on it, but you know, we'll talk about it. This one has Altum scales. I'm not sure if they have other versions with different scales, but you can see the Omega Springs in there. You can see it does have steel liners that are inset very nicely. Deep carry clip that is reversible, TA hardware. The crossbar lock's easy to get to. It's pretty smooth. You know, it is on bearings. Um, I can tell, you know, it's still breaking in. The blade is 14C28N. Beautiful spear point blade. I love this swedge right there. Brings down some stability down to the tip. Um, decently thin behind the edge. You know, about average, about standard. Um, now, as far as my deal breaker, it's the action. So the whole deployment is just, at least in my hands, right? And, and you know, it kind of sucks because it's just, I'm hitting this. I'm, I'm, I've been trying to figure out a place to put my finger to not hit this crossbar lock, but I can't avoid it. So when I go to reverse flick it, when I reverse flick it right now, like even right now, I'm hitting this bar. So it's not as snappy as it would be if I was missing it. Um, now, when I tr do miss it, you know, I'm in an awkward position. So it's just, it's too tight. You know, the, the hole's too tight. I have to push up too much into there, which is fine. I mean, you know, if it was a liner lock, it'd be fine. If it was a frame lock, it might be fine. Um, I still can do it, so it's not bad. I mean, it's just, it's not as satisfying for me because I, you know, I, I'm trying to avoid hitting the crossbar lock. That's in my hands though. So, and in lefty, you know, I do the same thing. Um, now it does slow roll pretty good. The thumb flick is okay. So I can do that. Just the reverse flick. I almost have to like get it with the skin and do the wrist snap to really get it. Uh, but anyways, you know, you can see I still deploy it just fine. I just, I don't like that I'm hitting that crossbar lock and how it's slowing the action down a little bit for me. Um, the sharp control and plunge grind could definitely be better. They, I don't know why they plunge the plunge grind right to the edge. That is going to create a smile. That is a no-go, um, or not a no-go. It, it's not a deal breaker. That's just something I, I don't like. Ergonomics are really good though. It is a cool knife. I love the design. I love the 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 size. I love the shape. There's a lot of good qualities here. Um, you know, that's why it sucks that the blade is sunken into the handle so much and it makes it, you know, a little bit more difficult for me to get to that whole axis and not hit the crossbar lock. But anyways, you know, I'll link it down in the description. Um, if you have, you know, medium to small hands, it might work just fine for you. But in my large hands, it's definitely not. Let's check out the next one. The next one is... The Jack Wolf Little Bro Jack. Now this is Curanite, the scale, which I freaking love. Look at this. My goodness, that's gorgeous. My eyes, ever since I was a little kid, you know, like with like crayon boxes and stuff, there was a certain color blue that almost blinded me when I would look at it. And still today, you know, I have the same effect with certain blues. There, There's a tint of that blue in this, so this thing really captures my eye. Um, now, if you're not into the Curanite, there's other versions. They have the, um, the Camel Carbon Flow Party, which is another one I want to get in the collection. I'd like to get all the scale options in the collection, but he comes out with new ones, so it's difficult. Um, I don't have that one, the, the yellow or the orange, which is uh, which I personally think is badass, the fat carbon fiber with the yellow and orange. They ha he also has a wood version of this, and then um, you know another fat carbon fiber, and then another carbon fiber version. So there's multiple different versions of this. Anyways, S90V, deep, deep hollow ground blade, clip point blade. This is my favorite grind on a knife, a full hollow from the spine to the edge, super deep. Oh, I freaking love it, I dig it. Um, nice and thin geometry. S90V is an absolute super steel. And you know, what's incredible about it is it's actually one of the best steels you could get on a knife. Um, it is a, a, a corrosion resistant steel. So it actually is a stainless steel while also being a high wear resistant steel. Personally for me, I like, I think a toothy or sorry, a medium grit edge is the best edge you can put on S90V. Now it will take and hold a mere polished edge. 
Um, and it does it okay, it does it pretty well. So if you want a mirror polished edge on it, it'll work. Um, and it will hold it pretty well, but it holds a toothy edge or a medium grit edge better. So, you know, just depends on, on what you want. But the geometry is just absolutely insane on this. Very, very thin. Um, the, the, it has titanium scales, and then you can see the Curanite. The walk and talk is pretty good. A little subdued on this one. Um, you know, it's a smaller one. This is the Little Bro Jack, just so you can get a little bit of an idea. Here is the Vampire Jack. And as you can see, you can see how much shorter it is. Um, now, one thing I do appreciate, though, is that the, the pole, is, is, it has a good pole. So basically, the, hand, the blade sticks out of the handle enough to where you can easily grip it and rip it. You don't have to put your nail in there. You can easily just pinch and pull. And I like that. Those are my favorite kinds. My favorite kinds are, are the ones with the, the blades sticking out a lot because these are deep hollow grinds. So, you know, the, the top edge is already catchy because it's a hollow going into a thicker spot. So I love when I can just grip it and rip it. Um, and also shout out to, well, first off, they do have their own sheets. You guys probably already know this. They come with a can, they come with a wipe, they come with a beautiful packaging. Um, but I tried to get a matching um, sheath for this one, but it's just a little bit too small for this one. I did have another one that was single stitched. I figured double stitch would work, but that's okay. I have plenty of other ones that will fit just fine. This one matches really good with it too. The blue, I try to match them. That's what I like to do. Now, I have been putting this one in there. Anyways, the little bro jack, awesome little knife. Now, as far as negatives go, one little negative is mine did, mine does have a microchip. Now, not a big deal for me. It's not so big that I can't get it out in one sharpening because I absolutely can, but you can kind of see it right there, right there. Little microchip, um, that's not down there. It's just that one. So it's just right there. Anyways, not that big of a deal. I can sharpen it out. I'm guessing it was pushed because these don't have a stop pin, so they can be pushed in. I'm guessing it pushed in and hit the, the thing. Um, I try to close them with the weight of the, the spring, not by slamming it down, which is how you're supposed to close them. Just let it kind of close itself. Um, but other ones, you know, do have stop pins. He tries to do this as traditional as possible, which I appreciate. And I don't think there's a big, you know, a, a big deal with that. But however, if you do have a stop pin, it can prevent that. So, but anyways, regardless, not that big of a deal. It is really cool. Um, I personally think uh, Ben over at Jack Wolf Knives, man, he is doing a killer job. He's an awesome dude. He's, he's the type of guy that you want to support. If you met him, you shook his hand and looked him in the eye, you could tell, you know, he's just, he's a genuine dude, great guy. And, you know, like I said, you know, he's just, you, when you or in his presence, you want to support his business. And, and he's just a stand-up dude. Love the guy. Let's check out the next one. So, the Riet EXOKs are back in stock. And if you get the blade, the bladed version, you also get a trainer version. And as you can see, it'll all come in one box, just like this. So the Riet EXOK. Now, there is a way for you to actually open it up in the forward grip. Let me show you. So what you would do is you would hold it with the pinky. So almost like you're gonna use it like that. And then what you do is you come around and you pinch it with your ring finger and you hold the clip and then you swing down and then swing forward. And now you've got it in the forward grip. So when you close it, you do have to do it with two hands. But anyways, pretty cool. Now, as far as the way you're supposed to do it, in the reverse grip, that's obviously the, the easiest way and probably the safest way. Um, also, when you're closing it too, it's a lot easier because what you can do is you can let it go back, hold it with your thumb, slap that blade forward, and then roll it shut. 
Um, once you get used to it after a few days, I mean, it's just second nature. Um, now, I do know that in my video, I did show that in use, when you're really using it, it has the chance of hitting that button. I showed that in my review. But when you switch the clip over to this side, because I think the clip comes on this side, when you switch the clip over to this side, it does prevent you from doing that a lot. Is there still a chance? Absolutely, there's still a chance, 100%. With any folding knife, there's always gonna be a chance. But when it is like that and you're gripping it really tight, you know, it's very unlikely it's gonna happen. Um, but, you know, there always is that level of threat when it comes to any type of folding knife that's a self-defense knife. But anyways, they're linked down in the description. These things, uh, they, they usually sell out pretty quick. So, you know, I think they are in a couple locations right now. So, and also just so you guys know, the minis are available as well. So this is the locking version with the clips. There's multiple different versions. There's tantos, drop points, spear points, different handle materials. These are full titanium in 3V steel, I think. Yeah, 3V steel, super duper smooth. And check this out. There's uh, um, children versions. <laughs> I'm gonna link them down in the description. They actually make a little EXO, or sorry, it's not, it's not uh, EXO. It's just a gravity knife, but it's a, a plastic one for kids. It's pretty cool. So like I said, I'll link it down in the description. You can get like three of them for like seven, eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. You can get a whole pack of them. So if you got kids, you know, it's just kind of cool. If you got your own gravity knife, give your kid their gravity knife, you know, pretty awesome. Anyways, I do have tons of videos on the Riet EXOs, you know, and even on the mini. So there you guys go. Let's check out the next one. So the next ones are from Kaiser. So Kaiser has a huge sale going on on their site and I found the mini critical for like, ah oh man, I forget now, like 50, 60 bucks. This thing was originally a hundred dollars. It's three V steel. So for three V steel, for $100 when it first came out, that was already a steal. That was already a phenomenal deal. Now it's like 50 per 30% off 50, I don't know. It's cheap, it's the cheapest I've ever seen it. And that is a phenomenal deal in my opinion. This is a, an amazing work knife. It, this one has, and also another thing, 3V, takes a really good fine edge. If you like fine fine edge holding steels, 3V does really, really well. When you put a nice fine edge on, it takes a nice fine edge, it holds it really good. Um, and you know, it's one of the toughest steels on the planet. Um, it's not very corrosion resistant. They do have a micard, or sorry, a, a 154CM version if you like stainless steels, um, but you can see, I haven't had a problem. I've had this since they first dropped, you know, and there's no corrosion or anything on it. I keep it clean, or at least I try to. The, my car, the scales are my card, a good quality of my card, a good access to the liner, nice snappy deployment, comfortable flipper tab, f fantastic size for a compact utility blade. Um, yeah, I can't recommend the Critical enough, the Mini Critical. Now, another one they have for sale, for like 30 bucks, <laughs> which is absolutely insane. This is the Kaiser Dome, but this is the best version they make. So they originally came out with the Dome with drop point and it had uh, washers. Then they came out with a, a version with uh, bearings that was also a drop point. This one is a hollow ground sheep's foot version. So if, as long as you're getting the sheep's foot version, it'll be this version. It comes in two different micartas, 154CM, super deep hollow grind, extremely smooth on the drop, phenomenal thumb stud action. If you like thumb stud action, this is, uh, yeah, it, it, it's definitely a top tier thumb stud deployment knife. Phenomenal ergonomics that you can use in any grip because it's just super neutral, good access to the lock bar. And you know, for like 30 bucks, these things were originally like 70 bucks, 60, 70 bucks, something like that. So fantastic deal. Also adjustable deep carry clip. So you can adjust it deeper or more shallow. Uh, but like I said, man, I freaking dig it. I love it. Um, I love the earth. I love everything about it. Um, and for that much money, whew, you can't go wrong. They also have the titanium frame lock Kaiser Sheepdogs for like $142. This is a great example of what um, Kaiser can do. Like this feels like a very premium knife. It's not like a budget knife with premium materials or anything like that. This feels like a high-end knife. Contoured titanium scales that is just melted on all the edges. One of the most comfortable disengagements on a knife you can get. Perfect access to a hole. Nice, listen to the detail, you can just hear it. 
Very strong detent in a good way. Mega, mega comfortable. Phenomenal knife. S35 VN blade steel. And I think these things were like 200, 220 bucks um, before. So, you know, I'm not sure like how far it went down. And then, you know, back, I don't know. But right now, during this sale, $142. It, this is like, yeah, you can't beat that as far as quality materials and just everything. Because it's one thing to have something in titanium, right? It's another thing to have the titanium done very well. You know, it's, it's another thing to have like all the little details hit really, really well. So yeah, this is a good one. The Escort, the Kaiser Escort. I think these are going for like 65, 70 bucks, something like that. Uh, I'm trying to find it really quick while I'm sitting right here. So you can get the Kaiser Escort, this exact version right here in 154 CM with beautiful micarta scales for 62 bucks. $62. That's not too shabby. This is their clutch lock, so you can adjust it. It does come with other um, Omega Springs that are thicker so that you get an even stronger detent if you want, but it comes right out of the box. At least um, all mine versions. One version I had came where the um, it was lowered on the, the notch, so it was a softer detent, but all the other ones were tuned to the strongest point, and if I wanted it stronger, all I had to do was switch the Omega Springs, which they are very easy to do. You can just take the scale off, and, you know, you take each scale off individually and get right to the Omega Springs, but this is one of the best work knives of 2023. Um, this, between this and the Drop Bear, like, it's just, it's the perfect size, perfect Everything, geometry, just, you know, everything about it is just done so, so well that, uh, yeah, I can't recommend these enough. They're, they're, they're phenomenal knives. The next one is Artisan. I forgot to mention them in the sale video yesterday. They have a thing, I think it's 30% off sale, and it's even on new knives, like say this, the CJRB Mini Pyrite. You can get this for like $42 or something like that. I forget exactly what it was. You know, I can't memorize everything, but it was really cheap, especially, you know, for this being, you know, a newer model, ARRPM9 steel. This thing is so, so fidgety. It's so easy to get to that hole. It's so snappy. Nice, cool sound, very, very smooth, but in the hand, this thing is a little a little razor blade, man. It's so it's such a good little tool. Um, then this one, this which is the Echo, they have the titanium version of this for like 70 bucks, 70, 72 dollars, something like that. Titanium and AR PM9 steel for 70 something dollars. That's insane. This knife right here feels like it should be like 70 something dollars. This one's the stainless steel version, but they have the titanium version just like this. The scales are just titanium instead of steel for like 72 bucks. Now they do have a full premium version that just dropped. I, I should have it here any day. It's got contoured scales. I think it's S9DV. That one is really awesome, but I haven't tried it yet, but I, I seen it on their site. But as far as this one goes, you know, the titanium one or the steel one. Oh my goodness, this is a good knife. Phenomenal, phenomenal ergonomics. It's super duper comfortable. Great blade shape, great design. Button lock action is phenomenal. It's super duper fidgety, very easy to, to you know, fidget with as far as the front flipper goes. You know, it's just every, I love this one. This is one of my favorite knives from CJRB. And yeah, anyways, next one. I do believe they have the regular pyrites on sale as well. This one's a titanium one with my card of scales, but there is, um, they have so many different versions of this. You just gotta check out their site. They have tons and tons of stuff on the CJRB slash Artisan site. This one's an S90V, so it's a little bit more premium, but the budget versions, man, are just as good, you know, just not in premium materials. Anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.